Okay, so there's another special rule you need to keep in mind when it comes to playing Hive missions, and that's the potential for a cave-in to happen. Now that can happen when you use explosives like grenades because you're operating within tunnels. But there is a benefit to using grenades in these situations because they generate one extra wound than normal against enemies. So you do have a benefit to using them, but the drawback is that it can potentially cause a cave-in. And the way you're going to determine that is after you use something like a grenade or a demo charge, you have to perform a random number generation and on a five plus there has been a cave-in. Now there is a special node card for cave-ins. I don't have it in my prototype copy, but I will put it on screen for you guys so you can see exactly what it looks like. And it will take the place of whatever node card that you are currently in. So let's say our squad here was in combat, they used a grenade, they damaged their opponents, and then they rolled the random number generation and caused a cave-in. When the cave-in happens, any enemy forces will suffer two wounds, your squad will suffer one wound, and all of those wounds that are generated by the cave-in are considered to be armor piercing, so they will go through any armor any of the forces have. So let's say our squad here had finished off their combat with the enemy forces, but now they have a cave-in node card covering their original node. What that's to signify is that the tunnel has been blocked off and that advance five means that they have to take the time to generate those success levels before they can move on. So they can't do anything else. They'll still be affected by the event string that's listed on that cave-in card, but they do need to stay in that place generating those advanced success levels before that card will be removed and they can continue on with their mission as normal. 